friends, it's Trisha here and I wanted to share with you a quick little trick that I've learned to do really easily using Canva <clears throat> and that's how to make videos to publish on YouTube. The first thing we need to do is head over to Canva and what we're going to create is a presentation. Once we've created the presentation, I'm just going to go straight to home. Um, so we'll get rid of this last search that I did and you can choose presentations here or you can type it in. What we're going to do is create a presentation and then record a video with that presentation, export it <clears throat> and upload it to YouTube. I won't be able to double do it while I'm creating this, but you'll be able to see a few of the steps and then you can follow it and try it on your own. So very first thing you need to do is if you're in canva.com, you can also do this with a free account. I think if you have the paid account though, you'll have access to more templates and more designs and you can choose any of these templates. You may just choose one page and replicate the same page over and over again, or you may use it as a starting point and then change it to customize it to your own style and taste and branding but it's really easy so I would normally type in here presentation and if I had a very specific idea in mind about the design the style or the feel I would use those words next or if I didn't have any idea where to start I would just type in presentation so we'll do it two ways one is we'll just do the generic presentation and the second one we'll do it with a bit more pizzazz <clears throat> so typing in presentation as you can see, there are tons and tons and tons of templates to choose from. And you may go, oh my goodness, that's a lot to choose from. What we're looking for, this is only the first page of the presentation. All these templates generally have anything from three to 10 to 20 pages, and these are all accessible for free. What you're looking at is not necessarily the images. So the picture of agri farm you have here, we're not looking at the farm itself. We're not looking, um, at all the photos of people or anything we're looking at the design and the layout because you'll be able to customize and update that so now there is just so much to look at um, let's be a little bit more specific about what we want and let's put in minimalist so I'm looking for a design that's really clean really sharp and the reason I do that a lot of the time when you're creating videos on YouTube you don't want it to be a distraction it's more to support your presentation or what you're talking about so choosing a minimalist design allows you to focus on delivering an important message to your audience and not let the presentation take over and distract everybody so the one that I've recently used is this one on the left modern pitch deck presentation if you have a look at my um, review product reviews you'll see commissionable product review where I've used this particular template and it's really easy to do so all you should do is have a look Go customize this template. And then it says here on the left hand side, do you want to apply all 10 pages? And I would say yes. And what it'll do, it'll automatically populate the 10 pages at the bottom here. And the first thing that I do is, um, and this is however you approach making your videos, totally up to you. But normally I have a little bit of a outline prepared in advance. I'll have what my introduction is, my body, and then my conclusion. And from that, I'll know what type of design and layout that I'd like to use. If you go down to the bottom right hand corner to grid view, you can view all of these. I'm sorry, I can't make it any larger. Let me see if I can do it this way. There we go. <clears throat> you can view all of the different styles and layouts. Now, I find what works really well are really simplistic designs and layouts. So of this one, I probably use the welcome note for a clear statement or something I'd want to share. I definitely like our service because I can have some bullet points there. <clears throat> I'd use the benefit one and maybe I would not keep the images. It'd be totally up to me at the time when I'm creating whether or not it would add any value and definitely the thank you one. And the rest of them may not do it. So let's just um, start with one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's start with pitch deck. So this presentation is going to be how to make money online. Or maybe it's, um, let's see. Okay, affiliate marketing is in my head at the moment, so I'm just going to use that because thinking off the top of my head while I'm recording at the same time and talking to myself is a little bit hard. So um, starting as a newbie. If I was making a video called affiliate marketing, starting as a newbie, I could have this as the title and I would change the top here. That would be the title of the video. 
Now, the reason why it's important for you to rename the title of your file is that when you export it, that name will carry on with the file name. And when you upload it to YouTube, it will also be recognized in YouTube. There's a couple of really good opportunities you have here. And one is SEO and ranking. If you're using a keyword phrase, such for example, affiliate marketing, I know for a fact, I only looked at it this evening for something else and it had 1.5 million views or or searches a month for that particular phrase. So as you can see, using in the title is a very powerful way for you to be able to enable some ranking. Um, if I didn't change this and it went up as pitch deck, it would confuse Google because Google reads the file name as well as the video and it can't make a match. So it's really important that your file name and your video are matching. The second thing is um, I'm going to start with my video. Let's just say I like to just minimize this a tiny bit. I think I'm going to start with this one. So what you can do is you can duplicate the page. I always like to duplicate and bring it back to the beginning. And then I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, I'm also going to just expand this a little bit. And what I'm doing now is I'm creating a sort of a template for my presentation how I'd like the text to go I'm not too worried about what this text is but what I am doing is I'm just trying to design a, a layout now when I move this around you can see there's a tiny little purple line in the middle that's showing me that I'm in dead center of that page at the moment if I move benefit currently it is to the left of the center so it looks a little bit out of place let's just put that centered okay benefit is now exactly middle so what I can see is that if I was presenting this this is how it would look when the video was going with my picture in the bottom corner. Um, let's escape out of that. And if I like that design, I would just simply duplicate the page several times, duplicate, duplicate. And then I would go through and write the text. So, you know, you wouldn't write the word introduction, but you, you might say uh, what this video is about. <clears throat> this might be the, you know, the hook of your video, what your content is. I'm just going to drag this side to side so I get the center. Today you're going to learn about XYZ or I'm going to show you how to XYZ. Whatever the, whatever the statement is that you're making, that's the first thing. So you go through each of these um, templates. When you're completely finished, you'll go, okay, I used all of them, but I didn't need these ones and I don't need these ones, but I kept this. So now you have finished your presentation. Now your presentation doesn't need to necessarily be paragraphs and paragraphs of text. The presentation is purely just a, a few key talking points that you can expand on whilst you're creating your video. So now that I have a presentation and I think it looks excellent and I'm happy with all the content, I would want to record it. So you go over to the right hand side, present, and then you go present and record. And what will ha happen is this will change the layout of the screen and you'll be able to see your image in the bottom left hand corner as you're looking at your screen and the video and all time three to one and then it'll start recording when you finish recording you can download it if you get nervous or you feel like you made a mistake or you're not sure about the video the first time it's quite normal to record a video three or four times until you get the hang of it usually the first time you're practicing the words and does it flow well does it read well does it sound right um and then the second time you might cut things out and shorten it or lengthen it so you can explain it in some areas enough. And third and the fourth time, it's quite normal. So don't stress about that. You can re-record as many times as you like and just go through the process. And when you're completely finished, all you need to do is go sh to the share button, download it as the file type, which is the MP4. And you're good to go and then once you have that if you do want to do any editing there's a really easy software that you can use that is called Descript d-e-s-c-r-i-p-t i'll put the name down below for you to have a look at Descript you upload your video it uses artificial intelligence to translate the voice audio to text and you can do editing with um, looking at the text at the transcription so if you look at it and you make a mistake it's really easy to fix it using Descript my friend sue who is amazing and she's a professional voiceover artist 
she told me one of the tricks that she does for recording lots and lots of voiceovers is even if she makes a mistake, she continues on. She doesn't stop. If you're working your way through a presentation, everything's going really well and you have a brain fart for whatever reason, I have more time, <laughs> you just say a word and you repeat it three times. That makes the editing easier to come back and find it. So the word that she uses is pirate. And I thought that was pretty good because it's a really unique word, not a word we would use in vocabulary for necessarily for a YouTube video, but it stands out when you're going through the transcript and trying to find where the error was. So for example, I might start a video going, hi, it's Trisha here from Passive Income Today. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Canva presentation and turn it into a video. Even if you've never done this before, it's super easy. There are a ton of templates that you can use and even your frog can do it. Oops, I made a mistake. Pirate, pirate, pirate. Even your little kid can do it and we continue on with the video. So when you load it up to Descript, you'll see all of that text will be laid out and you'll see the word pirate, pirate, pirate. It will turn up and it'll be really obvious and you just get your cursor and you click over it and you delete it and you're good to go. I will actually make another video right away with Descript and I'll show you how to do the editing and we can go through that. I hope you found this little tip helpful. Right now I'm focusing on sharing some knowledge and, and some of these basic skills that I've collected along the way and I hope it assists you in your video production for YouTube. I'm not a professional video producer. I'm a someone that does this for fun and I really enjoy it and this is my part-time work and I just like to share my knowledge where it's useful to someone else. Please leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel if you found this helpful and I will continue to support you in your journey through these videos every day. Thank you.